Hi there! In this quick tutorial I will show you how to throw a game object like the bugs you see in Payday as you can see the bugs fall in a better way a more natural way and I missed that and they bend as they are affected by the forces instead of having just a box and throwing We can have we can make them to fall in a more natural way, like having a soft body and stuff like that. So the first thing we're gonna need is of course the bag. This is the bag I modeled in Blender. You can model it in every software you want, but as you see this bag has two bones inside each for each, each side if we go into weight mode you can see the areas that are affected by each bone let's go back again to them now we're gonna need a first person controller I'm using the ones from the sample assets. So, of course, we're gonna need a floor, stuff like that. So, let's start to create another bug. Let's take our model inside, let's scale it to a better so it doesn't look too big and now you see we have our bug, our game object let's remove the animator, we're not gonna need it we have the mess with a skin mess render and we have a rig and this rig has two bones inside now we're gonna add box collider let's make sure it's nice so after the box collider we can add a rigid body let's fix that a little bit oh yeah. now the other bone You can put a, uh, whatever collider you want, depends on how you want it to look, how you want it to behave. It's a little off there. Alright. Now we add the edges bodies. But you see now we let it fall down not apparent here but if you put an obstacle in the way you see that our our object there breaks of course that's something we don't want to do because it looks awful so in order to fix that we will add a fixed joint add the second bond you don't have to add the fixed joint to both of the objects although nothing stops you depends on what you what you want to do so if you see now the bug falls in a much more realistic way let's see that again perfect so now we want it to make him throw the bug first we will add a new tag I've already added it let's make it pickable you can put every name you want it doesn't really matter 
And now we have thrown our first person character controller from the sample assets. Then we will go to our camera and add this uh, script. I name it throwback. You do have to name it whatever you want. First thing we're gonna need is three variables. We're gonna need a game object that will hold our bug, so that we know we are we are holding a bug. Otherwise, we will be able to pick up more objects. So we only want him to carry only one bug. The force that we are going to apply when we are throwing the bug. We are making it public so we can adjust it from the scene from the inspector. And we are going to need an array for our rigid bodies. We are putting an array because we might have uh, more than one rigid body. We might have uh, five rigid bodies. So we want to access them all at once without having to write too much of a code. In the start we we're not going to initialize something. So now we're going to update. We start with a with a check with an argument. We see if we have a, a bug game object is empty then it, will mean, it means we're not carrying something. Let's make a comment to remember it. If we are not carrying something. Next, if the player hits the mouse button we will do a raycast. Now the variables the raycast will will need is of course the hit variable. So we're starting from the transform position since this is the camera we don't have to search for the camera transfer. And since we're wanting to start from the center of the screen, we're doing the transform dot forward since this is the camera. So wherever the camera points, this is the forward of the this is the forward direction. We put the we assign the variable hit and we say how far we want the records to come to go. So if the raycast hits something and that something is a collider we look at his at his transform at the root of his transform we're doing this because we have uh, as you can see we have two different colliders I might have uh, an object that has 5, 6, 10 infinite colliders. We don't want to check every time and put on every object the same uh, tag. So instead of doing that, we're just assigning to the root, to the root transform. So we're checking the root of every object. And if, if it's pickable, or whatever other uh, tag we have assigned then that means we can carry it we assign our bug to the game object bug we assign the collider we just hit the root so we can control it all together and now on our array of bones we're going to assign every rigid body which is in the children of the bug every rigid body component that uh, belongs uh, in one of the children's or all the children's of the bug. And now for each rigid body that uh, is in our array of bones we make it kinematic so it doesn't fall so you know you hold it it is not uh, affected by gravity forces. 
we assigned the transform of the parent the, of the bug the parent of the bug to our transform to our camera so we can move it uh, everywhere we want and we close it because we don't need it uh, right now so if the player has the bug we want him when he clicks the, the button to throw it so if he clicks the button we enable the bug in the hierarchy we make it uh, transform its parent transform to null so it's not under our first person camera and for its rigid body that uh, we have in our array of bones we disable the cinematic so ca it can be affected by by forces and by gravity and we add force to it the direction we want to throw it is straightforward so we add transform.forward remember that uh, we are writing transform here because it will be parented beneath the camera so where we are looking at is the forward we multiply it by force and we add the force mode force mode is uh, how the force will be applied in this case we want it to be applied all together in one time and we empty our bug game object so it's null so we can pick another bug let's go to inspector we go to our first person camera after you open up the prefab I've assigned a force of 5 let's maximize it, close the stats and hit play as you can see you can go pick up the bug and throw it pick up another bug throw it throw it I can pick up this box throw it and throw it and that's it now well, there are some more things we can do if we change the the colliders to something else th other than uh, a box collider let's say a sphere collider as you can imagine this this will make it have another behavior that's all up to you how you want to do it we can put more force and it throws it away we can make this either from here or from a rigid body we can put more mass to one from to one bone less mass to the other so you know the weight of the bug is uh, different from each one as you can see because uh, the same force is applied to both of the rigid bodies but one of the rigid bodies is heavier than the other you see you have an SDR effect to add some more variety I don't know if you have played Payday but sometimes they you know the bugs might have gold they might have uh, they ha might have money so as you guess each bug is different from each other the weight of the each bug is different from the other so this way you can have these cool effects then I think we are we are done yeah so that's the the tutorial pretty quick and simple if you like it uh, don't forget to like the video subscribe for more I'm thinking of making a 
whole series of this and now you see you see they are has stacked that stacked because the you have we have the two colliders we have one collider from one side one from the other you see and the joint it's keeping it all together so you can have an uh, you can use it in any other way you might want have some funny effects stuff like that so anyway as I was saying if you like the video don't forget to like it subscribe for more and I'll see you next time thank you